got a video camera, and she was video camera, like, taping this dude who was sitting on a bike, and this guy was making arm motions, and she was like, this is a sign, he's trying to say, you know, something, and this car keeps passing by, and look at all these people going by, and it's Tuesday morning, there's too many people for Tuesday morning, and I was just thinking about it, why are you important? You're not, you're just some one person, there's, like, people don't, don't have time, the government doesn't have time to stop all these people, in order to be, like, like, trying to get all of you to watch you. Like, the government doesn't have time. People don't have time. There's nothing really that special about you. It's not like you have something important to the government that they want. I realized the cyclist was sitting at the corner. I actually discovered him after I zoomed in. As approached the corner, there's no indication that they know the guy until they get close to him. Watch as a blonde woman walks toward him, and obviously he says something to her, and she turns around and looks in my direction. The blonde woman points at me. Watch now as the guy on the bike signals someone else. He looks at his wrist as though looking at the time, then turns his palms upward as if to say, I don't know what's going on. This is just before a cyclist and a car come by. Certain behaviors are repeated in order to let the victim know that something is happening. In my case, cars, cyclists, and pedestrians are used when I leave the house and also when I'm coming back to the house. And the idea of gang stalking and that, and that they are like, like every person on the street is watching and making hand signals, it just honestly sounds like schizophrenia. It sounds like you're crazy. And there have been no proven cases of gang stalking ever. And they even have, there's even a book out about it where they talk about how the KKK started the movement and stuff like that. It's just ridiculous. Like the idea of it. I don't know. There's a lot of like a lot of crazy theories out there on the internet. I don't know. Is any like I don't know who out there if you guys have heard anything crazier than this cuz gang stalking is like the craziest conspiracy theory I've heard of. I don't have much, and the, one of the things she said in this video which I will link um is that the people who are usually involved in gang st gang stalking don't have jobs. So this guy that she's watching in this video that's watching her while sitting on his bike doesn't have a job. But like, where does he get money from then? Like, does the government pay everyone that's stalking you? Like, are your friends and family part of the conspiracy? Like, how crazy is this? <laughs> I never go out without one of my friends Thank you. 
and they put him away. People would say, you know, walking down the street and these like lights are flashing at me or, you know, there are hidden antennas or all kinds of things. And they put people away. Brilliant, wonderful people like John Nash. But today, it's up to Because my delusions don't come out on film. When I say that a light flashes at me and you see it flash, you know it's real. As I understand the memorandum from the President, it's for you to determine if current legislation is adequate in uh, protecting individuals and if there's any ongoing experimentation. And in reviewing the common rule, um, it's very really obvious that there's a lot of loopholes to inform consent. All of the horrific experiments you've mentioned, uh, whether broke in K-Ultra or radiation experiments, mostly were done without informed consent. Uh, they were funded by the DOD and intelligence agencies. Well, I'm not even so sure you would know if there's an IOB, much less if an IOB is looking at informed consent. Um, and as a physician, um, relative to some of what you're hearing today, um, in the community, we are seeing an alarming rate of complaints of use of electromagnetic weapons. Um, Microwave auditory effects, sound, sound spectrum, EEG cleaning, which has taken the lab out of the laboratory and into the home. Most of these, from the research that we reviewed, can be done remotely. Um, it seems to be more weapons research than medical research. Um, I personally corresponded with upwards of 1,500 victims all complaining of identical complaints from every state in the nation um, of being exposed to electromagnetic radiation. Non-ionizing radiation for the use of cognitive control or behavior control. Um, I submitted a uh, paper to you, and there's a, another paper submitted to each member from another physician in Kansas City, um, alluding to the same thing. Good afternoon. My name is Connie Marshall. I'm a former mayoral candidate from Louisville, Kentucky. I have never been involved in any criminal activity. I found a document in my bank account that said, Problem with Kentucky government. Check federal government paperwork and file before releasing information to anyone. I am an eight-year victim survivor of assaults by directed energy weapons. The torture I've experienced consists of body overheating, body extremely cold, seizures, heart pain, ear aches, itching behind eyes, burning behind eyes, swelling, headaches, involuntary movement of my limbs, exhaustion, speeding and heart racing, hair coming out by the handfuls as if I'd had chemotherapy, mind paralysis, being hypnotized or placed in a trance-type state, being tracked by a drone or satellite, controlled dreams, sleep deprivation, V2K, which is voice to skull, projected sound, extreme muscle spasms, and extreme muscle cramps, being made to fall down, blue circles around the pupils of my eyes, and I'm here and you can look at them if you like, low frequency noises in my home, high frequency noises in my home, sexual stimulation, numerous electrical appliances in my home are destroyed, four computers, two fax machines, seven telephones, four CD players, VCR, DVD players, electrical igniter switch on my furnace, washer and dryer, air conditioner, also my car radio, CD player, and engine were destroyed. I am watched in my home 24 hours a day and follow the ground everywhere I go, though I do not have a criminal history. When I ran for mayor in my town, I was also attacked in debates and forums. My website is www.justiceforallcitizens.com. Thank you. And I would like to leave these flyers with you all as well. Here we have a, so actually this is a minority of us, um, approximately, let's say, I've spoken to probably 3,000 people. Um, he's on probably 1,500, he's on 5,000, there's a lot of us across the U.S. And there's certain statistics, I think, that if you find that there is something going on wrong, that that you're going on wrong, that you got, that somewhere along the line someone has to do an investigation. There's a certain percentage of illness um, you do a, an investigation. If there's a certain amount of cancers in an area, same as uh, Brockovich went and did an investigation, she found a certain amount. Well, we're presenting our case right now. You said you guys wanted to be in the know. We're giving you the information now so that you are in the know. There is something going on. It's electromagnetically, um, 
um, issue, and it has to do with from cell phones all the way to directed energy. And I think yesterday some of the colleagues went home and said that we didn't really talk about whether um, there's energy weapons or not, but I mean, I, we have thousands and thousands of documentations about energy weapons themselves. And all we're asking for is an investigation on this. People are being harmed, people are being tortured, and people are being killed. And I think it's a pretty important thing for a bioethic community to look into. And all we ask today is to please do that. And Mark, on March 1st, 2011, we came to you and we told you. And I don't know how many more people. My friends are dead, tortured to death by electronic weapons. And I don't know how many more people will die. And I hope I will be here again if you have it. This episode, the Nazi pig theorem or MPT by Alan Barker. Anyone who non-consensually violates your brain mind mentation using Mengele-like methods is a Nazi pig. You do not care what a Nazi pig thinks. You do not care about a Nazi pig's opinions. You do not respond to a Nazi pig ridiculing you, threatening you, trying to distract you, or otherwise trying to manipulate you. You work to get a Nazi pig hanged. Isn't that obvious? Don't you believe it? Then remember it and act like you know it. MPT is as sharp as a razor. The contrapositive of MPT is also useful. If they are not Nazi pigs then they are not raping your brain. So you can think anything about anyone. It's just you and the Nazis in your mind, and their opinions do not matter at all. If you have a passing thought about someone and the Nazis try to harass you with it or make you feel guilty about it, it does not matter. The Nazi pig's opinions do not matter unless they somehow help to get the pigs hanged. If you think some thought about someone who really is raping your brain, then you have some worse things to think about that Nazi piece of human garbage than what floated through your brain originally. One use of the Nazi pig theorem is to try to go on with ordinary life even as you are being tortured you know the true, evil nature of the society you are living in. Spend some time each day working for justice in the physical world, and the rest of the time try to ignore the Nazi pigs and get on with your life as best as you can. My philosophy is basically to wish people well, and any differences I have had with people or water under the bridge after not too long. But atrocities never, ever pass under the bridge. The victims never forget, and never should forget. Of course any victim is free to choose to forgive his or her torturers, but for torturers to lecture their victims about forgiveness is the Christianity of the oppressor. Forgiveness also does not prove...